So this is Ibanez's new uh, Q-Series headless guitars. Um, this is a Q54, which is the HSS configuration and the, um, and the regular fretboard. They have some models that are the multi-scale. Um, Naito body, as you can see, very thin, uh, similar to, I think, the S-Series. Um, the neck is a, a really nice uh, maple fretboard. Um, on the back, it's a uh, uh, roasted maple combined with um, Bobinka, I believe. Um, I will say, in terms of the neck, the um, it's thicker than I expected. It's, it's not chunky by any means, but when I saw that it had a what they call wizard C neck, just seeing wizard, I expected a much thinner neck. You know, typical Ivan has thin neck. Um, this is not. Um, it's kind of more of a medium C. Um, I find it very comfortable, so that was a nice surprise. Um, in terms of the controls, you've got volume tone, obviously. Um, you've got a five-way switch in, in, the, in one mode. The five-way switch basically works like any other HSS Strat would work. The neck, neck and middle, middle and middle, and split bridge, and then the full bridge. Um, when you flip into this mode, um, you get uh, different configurations. So the neck position, puts these two in series, so basically behave as if there were a humbucker in the neck. Um, when you do this position, you get this pickup, and I believe the back coil of the, uh, of the bridge humbucker. And so that gives it a very um, telly middle position kind of tone. When you go in the middle position, you get the full bridge combined with, again, these two in series. So that mimics, uh, if you were on an HH guitar and you were, had a three-way switch and you were in the middle position, that's what that is. When you do here, you're getting just this coil off the bridge. Um, to my ear, it makes it sound very much like a tele bridge pickup. And then when, you, when you're there, again, you get the full um, uh, bridge humbucker. So um, between the two controls, you got nine different pickup configurations. Overall quality is good. Um, like I said, very light. Um, everything feel, feels well put together. Um, it's very stable, uh, but at the same time, uh, the, there is a good amount of resonance to the body. Uh, maybe because it's so thin, but also it's just, you know, when I'm playing it, it's like I can, I can feel the resonance coming through the body. Uh, the fretwork is very good. There was a little bit of uh, fret buzz on the, on the high E and the B strings just on the first fret, so I think the second fret needs a little bit of attention. But other than that, fret work is really nice. There's no um, sprout coming off. Um, the fret work feels very nice. Um, you know, the bridge is a hard tail. Um, you have your tuning here, your intonation here, and then uh, I believe these just the pickup height. Uh, I will say the instructions for the guitar in terms of um, how to adjust the bridge, um, honestly, I haven't found any. Um, the, there isn't anything good that comes with the guitar. When I looked online, there's not a lot of instructions about how to you know, raise or lower the inertial strings or do the intonation or anything like that. So I think it's pretty straightforward, but Ibanez could do better with your instructions. Um, the other thing that's nice is the headstock. Um, you know, it basically you lock the strings down and then you, uh, you clip them off here. So you're not dealing with um, 
for example, I used to have a Steinberg guitar and you had to use the, the, the strings that had uh, balls on each end. Um, here you just use regular strings, you cut them off there and you're good to go. So overall, um, you know, like I said, a very comfortable guitar to play, well contoured. The heel joint is very nice, um, easy access to upper frets. And let's plug it in and find how it sounds. Thank you.